Hi, this is Ian, your SDMLS specialist. Let's talk about the hot sheet search in Paragon and why you'd want to use it. For mastery of this and all topics, please remember to play, pause, and practice. The hot sheet search can be very useful. It can be helpful if you wish to monitor a particular neighborhood to see if homes are selling quickly. Maybe they're constantly going off market, or maybe they are sitting and pending for a very long time. And you want to know what's going on there on a regular basis. We'll use the hot sheet search to find out. Let's start by going to the number of days back. A zero in this field will search for today, while a one would be today and yesterday. Let's look seven days back. Let's look for properties that have been marked as expired, because I want to look for someone who's removed their listing from the market, they've not put it back on, and maybe I can convince them to let me put their listing on the market. Well, in addition to looking for status to expired, we also want to look for new listings to see just in case if it has been relisted. So let's include new and expired. I'm going to narrow this search down by adding in a zip code. The zip code for Antonita is 92024. Now I can see clearly here that there have been 11 changes in Encinitas. Let's click search to see the results. Now we're going to see that most of these over here in the hot sheet comments and type, these were mostly new listings, but we can see that three have expired. Now, one way to make sure that these listings also have not been relisted is to simply click here on full address. You're going to sort by address, and then as you go through and find an expired, let's look below and see if we find the same address as being active. In this case, this listing has not been relisted. This will be one to call on. Let's continue down, and it looks like the Violet Ridge and also the one on Starflower just recently expired, and they have not been relisted. These would be homes that possibly uh, you could acquire a listing contract on. The other way to use the hot sheet search would be just to monitor your neighborhood to see what is going on. If you want to know what's happening as far as new listings, price changes, miscellaneous changes, which include changes to the remarks, or maybe when something has gone pending or sold. This will be something you may want to check on a more regular basis. So let's put a one in here. Now we can quickly see that in the last day, we've had 18 changes in Encinitas alone. Let's go ahead and click search. Now we can see that in the last day, all of these things occurred. So now when tomorrow comes up and we run our one day back, We'll see if we can find these four homes inactive. Possibly they will be pending or expired. The great thing about the hot sheet search is that it's going to let you know what happened to a listing within the time frame that you were searching. This has been how to use a hot sheet search in Paragon. Please visit us for more videos at sdmls.com. Click on the Paragon icon in the top left corner and then select training videos. This has been Ian, your SDMLS specialist, reminding you to play, pause, and practice.